Well, Yamaha is hosting several outdoors riders at the Whitetail Diaries Deer Camp and having a great time. One of the best things about our, you know, little deer hunting place, our little slice of heaven, so to speak, is the fact that we get to entertain a lot of folks from across the industry, uh, first time hunters, seasoned veterans alike, whoever it may be, friends and families. And, you know, in this particular adventure that we've got coming up, Yamaha brought down riders from across the across North America. We've got folks from Canada to, you know, the United States. We've got seasoned veterans hunters to first time uh, looking for the very first deer. We've got folks that are, are picking up bows for the first time, and we've got folks that have never hunted in Texas. So we've got a great mix of people coming in to spend about 10 days with us out at the ranch, and, and we're going to be able to go out and field test some of the new Yamaha products, put some new uh, products to test from other companies as well and basically get out and experience and enjoy what we spend all year long working on whether it's uh, you know setting up new stands uh, you know working on food plots whether it's doing game surveys or whether it's just simply working uh, you know around the around the camp itself this is the time these are the trips that really allow us to show off what we've worked on all year long there's no better experience in, in a Viking or in any vehicle really than to get your, you know, your backside in that seat, either ride as a passenger or drive it or both. Probably one of the best demos you could ever do. You know, you're out here on a ranch, you're hunting deer, and, and you're driving and riding a Viking. Van Holmes from Yamaha Outdoors has just arrived at Deer Camp and is excited for what is ahead. Man, I'm trying to keep uh, trying to keep my expectations just uh, wide open at this point. You know, uh, I know that there's a lot of deer here in Southwest Texas. I expect that we'll get to see something tomorrow, but I'm not quite sure what to think. Um, we're getting ready to head out the next 30 minutes. Sit on a little ground blind, see what happens. First morning, we saw some does and some fawns come in, and we saw some small bucks come in, and we did see one big, uh, pretty good shooter come in. Um, we weren't sure right off the bat if we, uh, if we wanted to get on him yet, um, and uh, so we watched him for quite a bit, and he worked around a little ways and then kind of cruised on out. We thought uh, maybe, we'd, uh, maybe we'd give him a day and, uh, and see if we couldn't find, uh, find his big brother. That afternoon kind of rolled into that evening, and, uh, and man, the wind was working us, um, working us all day that day. No shots that day, though, so we rolled into uh, to day two. Towards the end of the second day, um, I'm kind of trying to cruise around, slowly looking around, and I and I happen to spot, in a you know, kind of farther off in the distance, this buck's just standing there, and he's just locked on me. Man, he's a, he's kind of a younger buck still, but he's just beautiful. He's got this beautiful dark red uh, rack going, um, and I locked on him, and he's watching me, and I kind of pull my binoculars up and try to get a better look, and he's still looking at me, and and uh, and Kevin says, "Don't move." I think by then it was already too late. That guy had us pegged pretty quick and, uh, and he bugged it out of there. The weather just keeps getting worse. Uh, rain's come down pretty good, but we're going back out. We're going to see if anything's moving. Uh, if we can get a shot off uh, loading up in the Viking because it's super muddy. Um, should be interesting. The Viking really came in handy this afternoon. You know, I always enjoy getting out and riding in the Vikings, and uh, and it was great having the, the Viking 6 out here so we could load in a bunch of different people, you know, the, the guides, cameramen, the hunters, uh, different people go to different spots. Um, but we wouldn't have been able to get out this evening without having the Vikings. You never know what's gonna happen out here. Heavy rain, 100 degree temperature, freezing. Uh, it's just always changing out here, and so you gotta be able to adapt and overcome. Heavy rains out here render every truck basically useless. So the Vikings in this situation, just like we used to, when we're doing ranch work or working on anything else, we're, we're the, we couldn't have done it without them. Back to the hunt. We ended up um, moving to the killing tree that early this afternoon, and, uh, and I can see why they call it the killing tree. Uh, we weren't in that uh, spot for, for two, three minutes and, and the deer started to move in. I mean, we weren't set up, we weren't comfortable, we weren't anything. We just get, you know, just got sat down and, and looked up and happened to see some deer. As I'm trying to pick out of the group what I think might be a shooter buck, I happened to look kind of through the branches off to the left side and, uh, and I noticed something that, that looked quite a bit special. He, 
he looked different. He looked bigger. He looked like uh, he looked like if he's turned his head too quick, he might uh, might bump into us up there in the trees. And that's when my heart really started beating. I started getting really excited. So we see him kind of working in, uh, kind of behind some limbs. And um, by the time he finally clears those limbs, gets under a tree, then there's another deer behind him. And we're kind of like, is is he the one we want? Is he not the one we want? Is he gonna get broadside? What's he gonna do? He's wandering around a little bit. I think we pretty much have our, our, our minds made up and our hearts set on this guy. Stops, and about the same time, Kevin and I, Kevin and I whisper, there's another one. <laughs> and I see there's another one right next to him. Um, this guy's even bigger. Gave us a pause for a second. blows and they just boogie. They didn't hesitate this time. They just got the heck out of there. This has been a great three days. It really has. Now I uh, I didn't uh, get lucky enough to uh, to take a deer this time, uh, but I got to spend some time with uh, with great people in camp. Um, you know, White Tail Diaries has a heck of a camp here. Uh, again, if you like uh, if you like seeing deer, you like getting outdoors, man. Um, this is. Uh, um, this was a, a, a heck of a few days.